Do you really mean it or do you only speak it? Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. Do you really mean it or do you only speak the words? Many people come and speak about enlightenment or giving promises to people they may intend to indicate to talk about holy things. They may even talk about the Holy Spirit or about the name of God, but how to distinguish them? Do they really have good intentions or do they only seek their own benefit and try to confuse the people? That we can only see when we compare it to the gospel. Is the good news preached as same as Christ has taught it to us? without anything being added and without being anything being left out. That is the way to distinguish. God says in Psalm 50 from verse 16 on, God says to the wicked, why should you recite my commandments? Why should you talk about my covenant? You refuse to let me correct you. You reject my commands. You become the friend of every thief you see and you associate with adulterers. You are always ready to speak evil. You never hesitate to tell lies. You are ready to accuse your own relatives and to find fault with them. So all that are indications that the people do not really mean it. That the people try to bring some kind of other enlightenment, but not really the good news. But then, verse 23, God says, one of the indications what is really people who are close to him. God says, giving thanks is the sacrifice that honors me, and I will surely save all who obey me. Lord, we ask for forgiveness where we are hypocrites ourselves, where we talk nice words and yet we have evil thoughts. Thank you for your forgiveness, for your love and for your grace. And we also pray that you protect us from all evil people who talk nicely but have bad intentions inside. We want to stay with you. We give thanks for your sacrifice. And we also pray that you help us to obey you, that we understand your good news, your gospel, your word, and come closer and closer to you so that we may prepare for your kingdom where we praise you forever. Amen.